Hey, what's happening, get one, Sir James, coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm here to provide you with my review on Victor VRAN, the Overkill Edition. Now, this was a game that was released on PC back in 2015, but now it's here on consoles, specifically the PS4, which I'm reviewing here, and of course, the Xbox One. Now, I kind of give you a little bit of history of the game in terms of what it's about. Well, in this game, it's a more of a Diablo-esque style gameplay here where you are a demon slayer, of course, who is skilled at killing, well, obviously, demons. Now, the game does feature a story of some kind. For the most part, it's pretty forgettable. You're going to be put into a situation. You're kind of finding out that everything, all hell is broken loose. You kind of have like a last resistance thing going on here. And at first, you start off on a journey, kind of find a certain partner of some kind. And next thing you know, you end up joining this resistance to try to stop this uh, demon takeover once and for all. But that's basically the gist of where your story is going to take you and from your journey from start to finish as you progress and grind your way through. Through the main storyline. Now as for the visual aspect I was actually pretty pleased on how well the port was onto consoles because everything about the game visually was definitely pleasing to the eye. You have a lot of different areas in which you're going to explore things like from open areas to grassy lands to desert looking areas to of course dungeons which are going to be a little bit more of a linear pathway but what's nice is that the game does open up to a lot of exploration so you kind of never know what you're going to find or run into as you fight your way with slaying all sorts of different demons. And of course, the more you progress into the game, the more harder it becomes and thus giving you the much more challenges here. And of course, let us not forget the artwork every time you talk to a specific character. Some little artwork with a brief dialogue comes on and of course the nice uh, water brush like artwork was also pretty pleasing. But again, the visual port onto consoles is definitely a nice touch and I was pleased with how it turned out. Now going over the gameplay, the gameplay is actually very simple to understand because it's more of a hack and slash RPG. The RPG elements will be in terms of your character customization. Now do keep in mind that there is no character creation, but you are able to use a variety of different weapon types and of course find different weapon types as well. Of course you could also go to the main hub and trade with some of the traders there to kind of get something better in what you already have. Now do keep in mind that as far as weapons go, some weapons will offer better traits compared to others like for example giving you a 10% increased range if you find like an ultra rare rifle or maybe you might find a melee based weapon which will allow you to offer maybe a 15% chance of more bonus damage against certain type of enemies. So all sorts of different little things here, but you are able to equip at least two different weapons and you can switch with them on the fly during combat. But that's basically how the combat system works. It's pretty much very straightforward. And again, as you progress along the campaign, you're going to notice that you're going to kind of go back and forth between the hub and of course the main mini map. But what's nice about it is that the loading screen is actually very quick, so it's not really much of a big hassle. And again, you're just basically going to go from point A to point B, killing demons. But again, I highly encourage you to do a lot of exploration because there's a lot of hidden treasure. And you never know what you just may find, especially when it comes to a creature of some kind, because you may find something that's a little bit more unique. Now, the game also offers a cooperative portion. However, since I had the game early, there was no one else that was playing the cooperative section. So whether or not the community will be strong on console is kind of up in the air right now. And I won't let you guys know, at least I won't be able to let you guys know, at least until two days later, somewhere in the comment section as of this video goes live. Uh, but again, there is a cooperative section that you can take part in, which I'm assuming you'll be able to take on some of the much more challenging dungeons, which you could partake in. Now, as far as the sound aspect goes for the game, the overall soundtrack was actually very nice to listen to from the base game and, of course, the DLC add-on. And as far as voice acting goes, if you're a big fan of the Witcher games, such as Geralt's, which is the main character from that series, then of course you're going to have that same voice actor voicing the main character here in this game. But besides, of course, the main character's voice, you also have like this uh, side character. It's kind of like a voice in your head. You learn a little bit more as you progress into the game in terms of what this person is. And of course, the other voice actors that partake, such as the remaining human race here, also sounded decent on camera. But the fact that your main character is the voice of Geralt from the Witcher series is just a really nice touch. It makes your character feel a little bit more of a badass because he hunts demons, you're hunting demons. It just makes perfect sense. But again, the sound quality of the game is definitely really good. 
Now, as far as the replay value goes, there is potential for a high replay value, especially if the community is active for cooperative play, especially if we wanted to play the game on a higher difficulty level. And of course, the game also offers many hours on end in terms of grinding. And I mean, I've put a lot of hours into grinding out my character, and there's still so many things for me to do, so many things to try out. And of course, best of all, if you are a trophy or an achievement hunter, then you're going to find plenty of things and activities to do to kind of keep you busy for quite some time. But again, if the community isn't involved much in terms of co-op play, then it's probably not going to offer a huge replay value. But just the fact that you do have RPG elements here, a grinding system, and of course the addition of co-op, it should hopefully help you keep you busy for at least a good solid one or two months or so. Uh, but again, definitely check out the game. It's worth a try. I mean, I had a lot of fun. The story is a bit forgettable, but you know what? That kind of doesn't matter when you're listening to some awesome music and slashing demons along the way. But in the end, I'm going to give this game an 8 out of 10. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.